dream is to get up in the morning, to take a, a piece of plastic or disposable thing in your mouth, and the com your computer tells you to go home at noon because you will have fever in the afternoon, or something like that. We are very close to disposable medical cards with the 15 issue card is. And uh, this is an issue that has been somehow prevented from really flourishing for a couple of years by patents. Now these patents are all currently, and you will have diagnostic things all over the world. You will have very physical DNA and all, right? Everyone can make it at home if you wish. I don't know what it's good for, but well, you can make it. But these things are really becoming very, very rapidly. Very fast, the bar. Now, at this point, I think I uh, make a few remarks on the difference between uh, the United States and Europe. The first is uh, the market volume, I think, of Europe is even larger. There are more people who live in the smaller states. On the other side, there are many things that, on one, in one sense, are prohibited. Are Adverts to economic development, such as different languages, very different cultures, people dislike, dislike. On the other side, you have a fierce competition in Europe to meet the different countries on economic development. Speak up. Just as, for example, uh, a couple of years ago, North Ireland, or Ireland was quite poor. Today, very rich because it has many, many high technology companies that are subsidized, sure, but that makes it very, very uh, powerful economically. The Eastern European countries are coming, and if you don't need in Europe really the Chinese cooperative thing, you can use, for example, Polish or Hungarian uh, labor. It's also much lower than, much cheaper than Western Europe. But it is closer, and it's much better to control, much better to make it fall. Therefore, Europe, Europe is really getting united, is, is being united nowadays. The same currency all over the place, which helps a lot. And then, due to that uh, difference uh, of the structure of many countries, we have in the European Union a hell of a lot of money or economic development. They are the uh, money are distributed according to so-called framework. The five-year plan to develop certain uh, areas, and usually, such a if you participate, in such an activity, it's usually a network of maybe 20, 40, or even more partners all over Europe trying right, to develop something and finally to make money on it. And most of the participants are usually smaller countries, medium sized countries, very, very flexible, very innovative, very, very expensive. That's one thing that really works in Europe. Coming up with work, developing, for example, micro offices all over Europe, with many, many participants bringing new ideas to bring it to the On the other side, if you go to a country like Germany, inside Germany you have very rich they, the 16th day. They also compete with each other, and they all compete on the basis of high technology. Now, this is certainly very valuable for developing an infrastructure. That is, and this is the the nation because to the United States, dominated not by the big place, but by the small one. If you look in Germany, say, 10 years ago, we had an enormous unemployment. Right, horrible. Why? Because the big companies like Porsche, Daimler, for instance, the uh, telecom company, Siemens, that laid off tens of thousands of people. Today, we barely have any unemployment. Still, the big companies lay off people, but the small ones have grown. All of the new jobs came from small, small companies. And just to give you an indication of the need, we currently form a little a little a network, technology network, at the place where I We look into companies that are interested in the 
context of micro and nano technology for participants. And we just said, okay, let's jump into a, a circumference maybe of 100 to 150 micro. Let's meet sort of 150 miles around our place. Let's look with the micro and nano technology that might be interested in participating in our activity developing in the world. And also putting in my money. And on the next slide, you see. This uh, is just. That's the slide listing companies. Yeah, right. You don't need to read the companies, right? It's actually show how many they are, right? And all of those said, okay, we could be participating. Okay? We are going to go for these technologies. And uh, I, I put my hands in these companies. And if you go there, they say, well, we produce here, we don't need to go to China, we go for technology leadership. If we are technological leaders, and if we have a perfectly educated task force, that here, come back to the board, if we are well-educated people and technological leadership, we simply see the traffic. They should produce the cheap stuff. We produce the real support. That's their perception. And the, company, the last company I, I visited is what they call the hidden champion. Right? That these are champions, a very, very important company you already know. This is a company that is producing devices for measuring length and angle. And uh, they were, I knew them from the 70s, there were 200, 300 people. Today they are 8,000 with a a turnover of uh, currently 1 billion euros. They say, well, we certainly know that there are cheap stuff, somebody else should do. We can do the technological university and as well as you can work for And sure, our wages are much, much higher. Who cares? We are leaders. Now, with that, and uh, with, uh, after starting at the beginning with there's plenty of room at the bottom. I finished here with there's plenty of companies who could really improve for micro, with micro and 